Kurt Roper, Duke. Second half. After losing their three-year starter at quarterback Sean Renfrey to the NFL draft, most expected the Duke offense to take a big step back. That didn't happen. This season, Kurt Roper's Blue Devil offense averaged 33 points a game. Two words to describe Kurt Roper's offense at Duke, balanced and clutch. Roper's Blue Devil offense is one of just four in the ACC to compile 20-plus rushing touchdowns and 20-plus passing touchdowns, and they produced four game-winning fourth-quarter drives this season. Roper's 2013 offense features not one, but two highly productive quarterbacks. Anthony Boone is a perfect 10-0 as a starter. He's thrown for 1,700 yards and 10 touchdowns. Boone's backup, Brandon Connett, is the school's all-time leader in rushing touchdowns with 30. This season, he's thrown for 1,200 yards and accounted for a record 26 touchdowns. Roper's offense also features a first-team All-ACC receiver in Jamison Crowder. Crowder set Duke's single-season record for catches with 88. I mentioned balance. Five running backs in Kurt Roper's offense are averaging at least five yards a carry. And today, a special honor for a coach who preaches selflessness. Duke's Kurt Roper is a Broyles Award finalist. Thank you. First, let me say thank you to Coach Broyles. He is a special person to our family, has been a family friend uh, for my dad and for my brother for a long time, and obviously a great man and a great coach, and, and I appreciate you letting me come to, to your award ceremony. It's special to be, to be here. Let me thank uh, Jeff and Wanda. They've done a great job. And Karen Fetzer, I know she's been stressed out a couple of days, but she's done a great job organizing this. And Kevin and Sharon Lamb have been great to my wife, Britt, and I. It's been, it's been a great uh, 24 hours. It's been fast, but it's been a great 24 hours. <clears throat> Excuse me. One of the first things people ask you, why are you a football coach? Why do you coach? Well, I was fortunate enough to get a scholarship to go play football at Rice University in 1991 for Coach Fred Goldsmith, who I'm assuming a lot of people know is an Arkansas man. I practiced, uh, we got there and we had our spring, our, our fall camp, went for about a month, and, and I started out as a quarterback and, and threw it like I, I th I'm right-handed, but I threw it like I was left-handed. So they moved me to defensive back after about a week of practice. And um, so I worked there, and at the end of our first fall camp, getting ready for the season, Coach Goldsmith brought me into his office, and he said, hey, Kurt, uh, you really need to think about what you're going to major in because it's going to be important. I don't think your football <laughs> career is going to last very long. <laughs> so so I, I, said, I went and met with our academic advisor, and I said, hey, i got to find out something to do here. It's coming quick. So she put me in classes like calculus and economics and shoot I was fired up I was ready for it I was studying and working and grinding to be to be a businessman and I first econ test comes up and I go in and I'm taking it and shoot I'm feeling good about it well the next week when the professor brought me into his his office and said <laughs> hey I hope you're a good football player <laughs> because I'm not sure this business stuff is going to work I decided I needed to be a coach <laughs> And I think I found the calling. No, really, uh, the, reason I, <laughs> the reason I'm a football coach is my dad is here um, and my mom and my older brother's here. The reason I'm a football coach, from the time I can remember, all I wanted to do was be like my dad. That's all I wanted to be. And uh, he's the best Coach Roper in the family. Our, our little, my little brother works on our staff, too. There's really only one Coach Roper, and it's him. And we're fortunate, to, or I was fortunate to grow up with him and learn how to be a coach by him. My mom was my rock. She's here. My dad obviously thought we're not around much, and my mom was my rock. She was awesome and, and taught, me, taught me right and wrong and, and how, to, how to live, and so she was awesome. My, bro, my older brother sitting over there, he made me tough. You know, he was mean. <laughs> it was hard growing up with an older brother, so I got whipped a bunch, you know, in whatever sport we played, but it, it's special having my family here. It means a lot to me. Are, uh, they live in Fayetteville, and it's, and it's great to have them. My wife, I hit the wife lottery, and everybody knows what that means. I got lucky. It was, <laughs> it was unbelievable. Or it's unbelievable how great she is, and um, like I said, it can't be better. We have two great kids that we just have a great family, and I couldn't be luckier, and she lets me um, 
obviously stay a boy and play a game and and I'm not around much and she does a great job and and I love her and it's it's been awesome you know um, thinking about our staff I was the one selected but there's so many people deserving on the Duke football staff and really starts with our head coach he is the guy with the vision he's the one that that really understands how to put a program together and develop uh, you know, a winning team. And that's what we're becoming at, right, at, at Duke. But I've been fortunate with, with Coach Cutcliffe to be with him a long time, and he's taught me how to, to be a quarterback coach, how to prepare an offense, and, and I'm lucky that way. But our, the rest of our staff, the offensive staff, has been outstanding uh, to work with for six years now. And, and um, I've been fortunate. My brother, my little brother is on that staff with me, and you just don't get that very often, and so it's special. And the defensive staff, Coach Knowles and his group have been outstanding. I mean, they, they went against uh, some outstanding teams in our league and non-conference games that aren't easy, and they've done a great job. So I'm, I feel fortunate and blessed and honored to be the Duke representative. That's really what I feel like. But this really all goes back to players. The reason we coach is because the players give us an opportunity to coach. You know, we say we're always trying to help players better, and we are. That's our responsibility as coaches. But the players do so much for us as coaches. It's unbelievable. And I thank them all the time. Thank you for getting up and lifting weights. Thank you for doing what you're supposed to do in the classroom. Thank you for getting that extra treatment. Thank you for film, watching more film. Thank you for putting your body on the line every day so we can coach. We're the ones that can't turn it loose. We're the ones that can't walk away from a game, and these players all across the country allow us to do what we love to do. And so I've got a great group of guys. I've, I really do. I've never been in a more special room than the whole offense, but specifically with the quarterbacks. You know, we've had some injuries this year, and they don't miss a beat. When, Brent, when Anthony Kinnett went down in the second quarter of the second game and Brandon Kinnett, who was going to be an H-back for us, had to step in and be the starter, it was unbelievable how, how he just went about it. And he had prepared himself. He's the one that got himself ready to play the game. And then we're getting ready to play Navy, and Anthony's still recovering from a shoulder injury, and they're running off the field together, and Anthony trips Brandon. Brandon falls and sprains his ankle and can't walk. And Anthony's still not heavy, healthy. And they started calling Anthony Tanya Harding. And I'm thinking, wait a second. <laughs> you know, we... <laughs> We're just trying to win football games. So Brandon, Brandon starts warming up in the next game, and to his credit, he says, Coach, I think I can go, but I'm not going to be great. You need to let Anthony start and be the player. And that's the kind of guys I'm around all the time. So I'm just blessed to be at Duke, blessed to be coaching with the guys that I'm coaching with, and, and blessed to have the players. Coach, again, thank you for having me here. It's special. And, uh, and, shoot, I've enjoyed it. Arkansas has been great to us. People have been great to us. And, and uh, just, just like I say, honored to be a part of this process. Thank you all.